Welcome to Ginger by Mbox. Today we are going to see how to automate API model. In a previous video, we have explained what is API model and how to use API model. Today we are going to see how we can use API model to automate our API testing procedures, which can make our testing things on autopilot mode. So let's get started. So we have opened our application ginger by mdocs in which we have already opened a youtube solution and here you can see we have business flow front side configuration and resources so if you come to resources you can see our application model and when i click this application model you can see here api models project to page object models and model global parameters so in today's video we are going to focus on what is api models so as I already told you in API models we are going to automate our testing procedures which can be understood as an autopilot mode. In our previous video we have explained how we can test API models and how we can do different different testing things using API models. Today we are going to see how we can use it in the activity and create a business flow. So when I click this plus icon so first it is giving me please at least one web services okay so if you go to configuration if you get this kind of error you can go to configuration target application in target application you can see in my platform there is web and my web app for running the api model you have to have a target application as my web services so if i select my web services click ok then my services is Settle now. Come to agent, click a plus icon, click next. You can name this agent as my web services agent one. So basically, we are giving the agent for our target application, and here we can from the platform we can select web services, click next, and then click finish now again come to our resources and api models now we click the plus icon you can see what is api models and its uses here we have given a brief introduction about the introduction of api model now click next and now you can see in api type we have wisdom json template and swagger api document xml template so it's totally depend on the user on which kind of template they want on their test so let example if i choose a json template i have to have a json file so if i click next and uh, let's suppose i have a uh, visitor so for visitor we have a url or a file we can select it from here so if you go to google you can see a website wiki.esendx.us otherwise you can type the uh, normal api testing or wisdom on the google and you will get various website and if i scroll down here you can see a free api credit card verification if i click on this i get two type of testing thing that one is vsdl second is testing url so i am clicking on vsdl now you see this url copy this url come to your ginger this is for the WSDL I am doing. Now paste it here. You can click load or otherwise you can click next. So the file is loaded successfully. Now click next. It may take some time, depends on the size of the file. So the file is loaded successfully. Now I click on next. So next page we can see this two selected name. Check CC that is credit card. L U C H N checker soap and checker soap one two. And its description, it is saying enter a credit card number to test a good credit card number. So here we can see the two workings of this API. And if you click on compare API, 
so it is saying that same existing model found as matching so on comparing api in our previous video as well we have shown that on comparing api you can check if any duplicacy is present or not so now we can see there is no duplicacy otherwise there will be a warning sign now we click next and then next again and then finish so now you can see we have two api models present here check cc launch tracker scope and check cc launch scope 12 now if we go through this we can see the different kind of headers model parameters that is card number output value template and in model parameter we can see the description that is card number soap envelope and in configuration we can see the endpoint url and the soap action in the request header the request body in which you can see a request body here you can see the card number and in security configuration you can see the authorization and certificates so now in today's video we are going to see how we can apply this api model through our activities in the business flow and one more thing let's suppose if you want to do api model testing through an xml file which you have already you can do that as well you just have to select your api type so let's suppose json so if i go to json and uh, in json if you have any file right now i have as this sample.json file i open this file then click next then click next next and then click finish so i can see here i have a sample file and which have a parameter model 11 parameters and uh, in parameters i can see the placeholder gloss term acronym abbreviation para and all so the kind of sample json file which i already had in my system you can see the request body so in request body as you can see uh, the glossary and the title title one sort as so all this uh, acronym the key pair value you can give while uh, selecting it so now come to business flow in business flow we are creating a new business flow the new business flow name let us give it a name api testing click ok now in starting i have told you that api model runs on the my web services app so i just select this then click ok and now i double click and i can see the activity now in activity you can click on this plus icon on this plus icon you can see the api models if i click this api model you can see the already presented api model which we have created just now it is all three present here so let's suppose we want to check for the credit card number so i click on this and i drag it here on dragging it is it is showing us some details that is api name and the description and we click name select value and we click finish after finishing if i double click on this you can see we have some details in which we can see all the details and operation setting and in selected value you can put any number or the number which you want to check whether this is a valid credit card number or not right now i have not given this any value we will give it later so here you can see view row request preview if i click this row request preview it is showing as the xml kind of thing which is the card number check cc and uh, the whole structure of this api so now we close it and the other flow is flow control uh, in which we can set the timers otherwise we have the output values that is card type and card valid which this api will give us the result now come to our operation setting selected value so i have my credit card number so let's suppose i'm keeping it as a random 7554 let's suppose this is a random credit card number and now we run this activity you can see this activity is executed successfully 
the execution is data is passed the output value came as 40 and in the output value if you click on view row parameters so now this is the number of the card which i have entered just now and it is giving as a http request as okay so this is a response which we got just now and that response is okay so that means we have this cat card number whom the api result was successful now we can see here in check cc result the api has given as the result it is saying that card type is none and the card valid is false that means this credit card number which we have entered just now is a false credit card number so you can do testing like uh, if this card number is valid or not otherwise i have entered my correct card number and at that time it was showing me visa and the card values is true so likewise you can do that as well so you just saw that how easy it is to use our activities and flow to test and automate the testing procedures so i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, you can write us if you have any query at our support helplines this is our support channels you can go through the ginger.mdocs.com or ginger help library or for any queries write us at ginger at the rate mdocs.com thank you very much